Hey, my friends, do you know of the amazing health benefits of drinking bone broth every day? Yeah, this is the broth that's made of animal bones. When you heat them and they release minerals, vitamins, collagen, amino acids that really help your body and heal your body in a lot of ways. And we discuss all the beautiful benefits of bone broth in this episode. And my guest is a former actress in Hollywood. She's acted in 20 movies in the past, and she quit because she realized such benefits from bone broth that she quit her acting career to start a bone broth company to bring bone broth to the masses. So if you're interested in that, please make sure to check out this interview. It's going to be all about bone broth and how to get it and all the benefits of it. So let's get started. Before we get in, if you're interested in healthier, thicker, fuller, and stronger hair, then make sure to check out fullyvital.com. We've put together a full natural program that consists of a supplement, a serum, a roller, and a brush that goes hand in hand to help you grow thicker, stronger, and fuller hair quickly. So if you're interested in hair wellness or having better hair, then make sure to check out fullyvital.com. If you're liking these episodes, please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below so you can get notified when we release new episodes. Our goal on this channel is to help you look and feel younger so you can live your most confident and adventurous life. With that said, let's get right into it. Hello, my friend. Welcome back to the Anti-Aging Hacks podcast. Today, my guest is Melissa Bologna, who's the founder and CEO of Beauty in the Broth, a beauty and wellness brand offering shelf-stable, direct-to-consumer bone broth that's carefree, convenient, and customizable. Growing up in both the United States and Peru, Melissa was immersed in dual cultures, which led her to appreciate various approaches to natural beauty and expressions of creativity. She's also an A-list actress in Hollywood and has acted in tons of movies, which we'll talk about in a second. But in her journey, she discovered the beauty of bone broth or the benefits of bone broth. And she soon got down to business in her own kitchen, testing countless ratios and recipes and figuring out a way to bring flavorful, collagen-rich bone broth to the masses. A natural entrepreneur, her mission is to provide convenient access to this magical elixir so that everyone has an opportunity to experience the benefits. After a year of development, Beauty in the Broth was perfected and launched in 2020, delivering holistic healing and beauty both inside and out. Melissa currently lives and works in Los Angeles, California, in her spare time, she enjoys Pilates, cycling, playing chess and backgammon, taking her pups to the park, and also continues her long-time philanthropic endeavors. With that said, Melissa, welcome to the Anti-Aging Hacks Show. Thank you so much. Well, that's quite the intro, and thank you for having me. Absolutely. So I want to get into bone broth in a little bit and talk about all the benefits of it, and I'll also share my story of how I've been taking it. But uh, before we do that, why don't you tell us about your background and I want to, I want you to touch on being an actress and how you got into helping people with their skin and connective tissue and with bone broth. Sure. I will take you all the way back. Um, I grew up most of my life in New Jersey, and then I went to school in New York for international marketing and business. Um, And I was never someone that was always super healthy. In fact, I was blessed with, um, genetics that let me eat whatever I wanted and full advantage of it. Not and health to me was looking in the mirror and saying, okay, like I look trim versus, okay, this is your body's fuel and this is what you're giving it. Um, so I, I truly suffered from digestive issues from, from 13 years old and I never took it seriously. And certainly when I was 13 years old, I don't think the whole topic was taken as seriously. And then during my school years, I started taking acting classes um, while I was studying business. And I studied abroad in Paris and I was influenced by my peers because a lot of them were taking a year or two off to travel. So I said, nope, I'm going to take a year or two off, move to LA and go be an actress. And <laughs> it really Great. stuck. Um, it was a big part of my life, like almost a decade. And I, I truly, truly love it. Um, I always felt there was something missing because I, I, you know, you would go from job to job, then you'd be kind of sad. You would stop working with the people you were working with. And um, my digestive issues followed me onto set. And I was getting really sick. Sometimes you would have shoots that started at 6 p.m. You would wrap at 6 a.m. 
and you would eat anything to stay awake and stay energetic and do Mm -hmm. your job. Um, So that's when I started to truly feel unwell and I got really bad brain fog. I felt really inflamed and I just felt like very unmotivated. And my sister, Michelle, kept convincing me to try bone broth. And at first I wouldn't try it just because I thought it was one of her, you know, little woo-woo concoctions and just the word bone put me off. And finally, you know, I visited her in New York and I got desperate and I'm like, okay, let me give this a shot. And I believe that a beverage not only fixed my digestive issue, cleared my brain fog, which in turn made me feel highly motivated. Um, So that's when I was completely sold on bone broth and incorporated it into my routine. And it also curbed cravings. So those cravings I, I had to stay awake you know, bone broth was the miracle solution that uh, saved me for myself. So then my sister came to Los Angeles to visit me. We're like, let's continue the routine. Let's get bone broth. And that's when we found there was a big shortage of places to get bone broth. And in New York, there's at least 17 pop-up locations where you just grab it hot on the go. So that's where this idea came from, seeing a huge need in the market in Los Angeles, which I personally consider the center of health and wellness. And then from there, I started to try all the brands on the market. And I saw another need where the taste just wasn't there. A lot of them were way too gamey tasting and slick, which I personally don't mind. But I know that when I tested it on a lot of people, they did not like it. Then a lot of them were just very, very weak. And it just felt like um, almost like snake oil where it says bone broth, but it's very light on the bone broth. Um, Mm -hmm. So that's when Beauty and the Broth was born. And it took a lot of twists and turns to get to where it is today, which I consider extremely unique. We're the only people in the country doing it this way. Shelf stable, single serve, concentrated format. You put the water in and you just buy an extremely, extremely potent product that's eight times stronger than an average cup of bone broth. Cool. Wow. Yeah, I'm sure that was quite the journey that you had to take from launching a new company and then to where you are today. It Uh, sure was. (laughs) Yeah, I can imagine. Okay, so with the bone broth benefits, what are, and you know, I've, I'll tell you this, I've taken i lived in la for for many many years and i'm in austin currently but i I still love la and i'll probably move back there at some point but um i when i was there and i was in living there i I learned about bone broth maybe i want to say two or three years ago and i really got into it i really got into it i was doing it you know i would get these bones organic bones or you know grass-fed bones and then i would make my own bone broth bone broth and i would do it every 10 days or so. And it was really cool. And I was uh, loving it, enjoying it. I, my skin felt better. I not that much because I was still, you know, my skin's good. Um, so I wasn't sure that way from the skin standpoint, but I just loved all the things, the vitamins, the minerals, the collagen that's inside the bone broth. And so I was doing it for a long time. I've recently stopped because I've been moving a bunch, but uh, tell us, uh, Melissa, what are the benefits that people should know when it comes to bone broth and taking it regularly? Sure. So one thing I love to say is that bone broth has been around since caveman days. So it is not a trend. This is something where they would use the animal for literally shelter, food, clothes, and then with the bones to heal themselves as a healing elixir. And bone broth, the benefits are two part, the bone broth itself and the gut microbiome, and them working in tandem together. Um, they call your gut a second brain and it's for a very, very large reason because it is, um, one, uh, we're obviously called beauty in the broth. So we're a play on the beauty benefits. So I'll start there. Bone broth is very high in natural occurring collagen. Uh, so during the cook process, when the bones break down, uh, the collagen cooks, which turns into gelatin. Um, so it's also the best way for your body to receive collagen because the molecules of collagen and bone broth are even smaller than those in face cream and readily absorbable by your gut. Um, so a lot of times when 
you know, you have that skin or blemish and you don't understand because you've tried every nice face cream and facial, you have to look inside because good skin, the start of good skin comes from the gut. And it's about taking care of your gut and you are what you eat. So that that's the two part of it, right? That bone broth helps to clean your gut, it fills in the holes in your gut call from bad digestion where particles seep out and cells go to fight it thinking it's invaders. And then it lines it fills in those holes physically and then pumps you with collagen. So it's great for your skin because it lines your gut and it pumps you with collagen at the same time. And with skin, you're going to get the same benefits with hair and nails because this is all based on the collagen. And this will in turn help your joints since your joints have collagen in them. So that's one of the biggest benefits, in my opinion, is the collagen. And then it's, of course, a great workout recovery because it's nourishing you and making your body feel satiated. So many minerals and um, all the protein that comes into bone broth, which in turn gives you a lot of natural energy. Um, as I mentioned from my journey, it's incredible for, for digestion. In fact, bone broth's original purpose is for leaky gut, which is exactly what I described. The holes in your gut getting bigger, food seeping through it. So it's the, it's the number one solution for that. Um, 85% of your immunity is in your gut. So bone broth's really good for keeping your immunity up. Um, as well as I mentioned earlier, curbs your cravings. So I'll, I'll have bone broth. Um, I'll have my coffee in the morning, then I'll have my bone broth, or sometimes I'll switch it up. And knowing I'm going to do a really tough workout, and I'll have it after the workout, because after the workout, I want to eat everything in sight. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have bone broth, and it definitely makes me feel full and nourished and stop me from making bad decisions. I like to call it um, a gateway drug, because I was never this healthy person. In, but because another benefit cleared up the brain fog, because your emotions, um, your personality, anxiety, depression, that all comes from the gut. And a lot of people don't know that. So the more healed you keep your gut from clean eating and bone broth, the better it is for all these things. There's a whole gut brain access. So the, the two parts to it of keeping your gut very clean nourishing it and lining it is crucial and essential. And if you're going to change one thing in your diet and routine, I, I firmly believe it starts with your gut because that's where all, all the magic happens. Yep. Yep. I was just talking to a doctor earlier this morning on a different podcast and we were discussing the importance of a good, good gut health as well. Uh, you know, so yeah, I love all the benefits that you mentioned. Yeah. So crucial all the way from the inside, the building blocks of collagen in your body, which ultimately make all the organs, which makes your skin, which makes connective tissue. In fact, the earlier when I got into bone broth, it was for connective tissue reasons and for joint health. And it's got these two amino acids, they're called proline and glycine, which help build the tendons between your muscles and uh, which, which connects your muscles to your bones and also improves the ligaments, which connects your bones to each other. So it's uh, it's really beneficial for connective tissue as well. And then they contain these things called glucosamine and chondroitin, which are just natural compounds that are found in cartilage. So if you're lacking in cartilage, or you want to have the, the building blocks of cartilage in your body, then that can certainly help improve those things as well. And there's been some studies with, with bone broth and bone health and osteoarthritis as well. And it seemed it's come, the studies have had really positive results. So yeah, so I, I'm all in with bone broth. And I, like I said, I was taking it religiously for quite a while. Not so much these days, At but uh, they also, you know, link it when people suffer from autism, and they put them on a bone broth diet, it greatly reduces uh, symptoms of autism. Um, because of people who are autistic, they have a much higher level, if you can believe it or not, of microbes in their gut, which is, in turn kind of affects the way they react. So when bone broth goes in there and regulates, regulates it, it greatly reduces the symptoms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very interesting. Okay. And sometimes I do use some beauty tools on my skin as well. I use, I, I do microneedling on my scalp for improved hair growth. 
and I will do it on my skin if there's any scars or just on my face as well to improve the quality and texture and rebuild the collagen. And so when I'm doing that, I especially make sure I have some kind of a collagen source in my diet to supplement the collagen that's going to be required to rebuild in that area because of the microneedling. So um, totally. I make sure to add. To I'm a well. huge fan of microneedling. I think it's great for simulating collagen. And I I love to say this, whatever you're doing to the exterior of your skin, right? Face creams, microneedling, lasers, you're reinforcing it from the outside. But what are you doing to reinforce it from the inside? Mm -hmm. food, food for thought. Yeah, absolutely. Agreed. Okay, so how? what is your recommendation on how often people should be drinking bone broth? Is it an everyday thing? I strongly recommend once a day if you can. I think everyone can. Um, I recommend one cup a day and I personally saw benefits after two weeks. They say on average 20 days to see a benefit of anything, but I think that bone broth is so potent and just works so well with your gut microbiome that I think have it every day for two weeks. It's easy to do. If you brush your teeth, if you put on face cream, you have your coffee, you can have your bone broth and you'll be amazed at what benefits you will see. So let me ask you this. Uh, I understand that it takes, you know, what 20 days, I believe you mentioned to see benefits. What, what are the first benefits that people start to see? And, you know, I was taking it more for the internal benefits that I know it's going to give me. And I didn't have any aches or pains or gut issues, luckily at that time for me to like see an advanced or improved benefit. But in working with people, Melissa, what do they tell you or report back on what are the benefits that they're seeing early? So obviously everyone's so different and we all have our different ailments. For me personally, I couldn't believe the clarity I had in my brain. I went through a period of feeling so unmotivated and it was directly linked to clearing up my digestive issues. So that was the first one for me. Um, I had a client who was reaching out saying, Hey, Melissa, you know, I've tried everything for acne. They've tried every facial, every supplement, every laser, um, and nothing would work. And they're like, do you think it could help me? And of course that's like a big ass, someone who's had acne for many, many years. And I was just like, listen, you have nothing to lose here. It's really, really great for the skin. I gave my spiel why she said, fine, sold. She tried it literally after two weeks suffering for years of acne. She started it. She said, it's the only thing that actually cleared up her skin. So that made me feel really, really good to have a, a product that really helps people like that. Because when I was 14 years old, I had acne and it did not feel good. Um, mm -hmm. So that was for her. I have um, a lot of people who are got surgery or are injured that order bone broth and they can't believe that they've been injured for a while or recovering. Then boom, it makes them recover a lot faster. That's been another big one for us. Um, but a lot of people with colitis, IBS, um, they see differences in those ailments, om honestly, almost right away within the first like week. Hmm. Cool. Interesting. Um, okay. So uh, let me ask you my next question, which is I've played around with collagen and it's, I guess it's forms for quite a while. I've gone to the store before and bought gelatin and then tried to mix gelatin in my smoothies, which didn't go so well because when gelatin gets cold, it gets lumpy. And you don't want to be drinking lumps with your protein smoothie. And so that idea didn't work out. But if you, if I mix gelatin in a hot tea or something hot, it seemed to mix better just by the consistency that it has. Uh, collagen, and especially hydrolyzed collagen, there's a lot of people that are drinking that or taking that as a supplement. And that seems to mix really well in a cold smoothie or in a hot juice or whatever you're doing. Not a hot juice, but a hot soup, I, I might say. And so how would you talk about bone broth as opposed to taking a, you know, a gelatin or a collagen supplement directly? Sure. So my one issue with a lot of these collagen powders is your gut cannot absorb powder much, if at all. So you would need to make sure it's a very, very, very high grade of collagen. Um, I think there's about, you probably know better than I, four sectors that should cross over to. 
But a lot of these college and companies do, do not have all these boxes ticked for the collagen. And if you actually do your research on the gut, you'll find that your gut will have a really, really hard time to absorb collagen powders. However, if this is a way for you to incorporate it into your routine, in my opinion, it's better than nothing. And the beauty with bone broth is the cook process. It's broken down into this gelatin. So, you know, whether you use my bone broth or someone else's, um, you know, it's already, and, and I'm against bone broth powders. Like do not count that as bone broth because it's out of the frying pan into the, pa- into the fire with this powder topic. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, with ours, cause it's concentrated, it's already in that kind of like gelatinous form. So you just add the hot water and it's very easy to drink. It's smooth. Um, obviously some people want to add spices to it, or it's really easy to once again, throw into a smoothie. And, you know, the fact that the molecules of collagen are the smallest form so that your gut can absorb it. And it absorbs directly into your gut because it lines your gut where a collagen powder does not do that. Your, a collagen powder isn't aligning your gut, filling in the holes and acting as a barrier while pumping your gut with all these essential nutrients and collagen. Got it. Okay. So there's different types of collagen. There's lots of animals out there. There's yeah. cows, there's pigs, there's fish, there's chicken. And there's a lot of, I guess, confusion for some people on what is the best type of collagen or what's the best type of bone broth they should be drinking. Do you have a perspective on which one's better than the others? Yeah. I mean, there is a lot of collagen out there and it's kind of like what they say about uh, probiotics, mix it up. Um, because your gut floor, everything like you need to constantly keep changing it and exciting it and giving it new things to effectively feed off of. But I will say that, um, chicken broth is higher, um, in omega six, which really helps to reduce inflammation, um, which is great. And also the chicken tends to be higher in protein. Um, but the beef bone broth is higher in minerals like calcium, uh, magnesium, phosphorus, and sulfur. And your body obviously really needs minerals, which in turn helps you with your energy levels. Um, I know that marine collagen is a very, very hot topic right now as well. And it's, uh, we're going to, you know, after we're done and dusted with this vegan ski we're launching, that's something I really, really want to focus on and learn the ins and outs of because there's something marine collagen as well so i think it it, like i said gateway drug uh start with the beef and chicken and um definitely marine collagen is something that needs to be explored more okay how what can you tell us about how you make your product and how that's different from others that are making it as well sure so I said to myself, if I'm going to jump from acting to starting a company, I I need to go straight to the top here. Um, And it wasn't easy because I knew if I wanted to do this, I wanted to source the best ingredients and the best bones, not only because that's what a customer obviously wants, but you're not going to get a whole lot of benefit if you're sourcing bones from a sickly weak animal, you're going to get sickly weak benefits. And from this whole journey, I'm I'm a firm believer in you are what you eat. So you shouldn't settle for anything less than the best ingredients. So with that being said, we're obviously all USDA organic, which is not easy, by the way. Uh, We're one of two of the biggest bone broth companies where the beef is all USDA organic. And with that includes the sourcing of it. So we're also eligible to be animal GAP welfare rated four, which is the highest you could be. It means the animal has no restrictions. It could roam around. It's free range. Uh, The beef is grass fed, grass finished, um, no antibiotics or hormones. Uh, The the chicken as well, free range, um, vegetarian fed, no antibiotics or hormones, Oftentimes for the chicken, we actually source restaurant quality um, from um, a lot of people know this Mary's organic chicken. Uh, So that's very, very cool. And then in the cook process itself, we don't grind the bones. We don't do a bunch of pieces. We cook the bones intact, which is way better for the breakdown process. You, You get all the good stuff, all the ligaments, everything 
going into our scrumptious gelatinous stew, um, which is very, very important for the cook process and extracting all those benefits. Got it. So how, when people order on your website, what's that experience like? Can you pick, can you pick the type of bone, bone broth you want, pick the animal? You, you, I saw that there's a mixture as well, if you just want yes. to get started. And yes. then when, you, when the package arrives in the mail, how do you actually administer it and drink it? Sure. So it comes in pouches, which is great because it's also shelf stable, no preservatives, which there's, in my opinion, a huge need in the market for that because uh, in apples to apples, comparing it with the freshness of a fresh bone broth, it's literally exactly the same thing. And it took me a while to wrap my head around it. But in fact, just knowing what I know from I made bone broth more times than I'd like to admit at this point with uh, research and development. And, you know, it's good in the fridge for five days and it goes to the freezer, fridge, freezer, fridge. So arguably it's not as good. Um, so when you get the package, it comes in these shelf stable pouches you could keep in your pantry, bring it with you for travel. Um, if you order our regular box, it comes with a cool rice husk BPA free cup, um, or you could just use a mug at home. You just pour the concentrate into that cup or into a mug and you add our recommended eight, eight ounces of hot water, which you get from a kettle or microwaving the rice husk BPA free cup. Um, and then you could also decide if you like it stronger or weaker, which is also the beauty of it. Um, some people like it weak. Some people like it strong. It's not one size fits all. Uh, so it's really customizable to your taste as well. And then voila, you sip it and enjoy. Great. Great. So if you like it weak, do you only take half of it or do you still use the full so the pouch? We recommend to use the whole pouch uh, just because of the nature of the pouch. We kind of made it three ounces of very potent concentrate. And in those three ounces is 25 bricks, which is the measure of solids in bone broth. And to give you a point of reference, an average cup you walk away with from a supermarket or a bone broth shop, that cup has three bricks in it. Um, so when you dilute it with water, it's still more than two times stronger than that average cup of bone broth. So we recommend using the whole pouch. However, there are some people who will use the pouch in two servings. I got you. Okay. Sounds so good. Once you the pouch is open, it does need to be refrigerated, which is a bit redundant because it's single serve. So if you were to go that route, you need to refrigerate the rest of it. Mm -hmm. I got you. Okay. Sounds good. You mentioned vegan before. And so I wanted to ask you what beauty and the broth is working on next. Can you tell us? Yes. So we have our vegan skew, which has been a long time coming, a very large process coming out. I believe it's going to be like a, a week and a half at this point. Um, and while, you know, it's not going to be a bone broth, obviously it's going to mimic a lot of the benefits of collagen because in it has seaweed mushrooms, um, kombu, which is a different type of seaweed, pea protein, ginger, uh, and nutritional yeast. So it's going to be a great product for vegans to get the satiation, a lot of the hair, skin, and nail benefits. And it tastes so freaking good. I love it. Fantastic. Okay. That's great to hear. Um, thanks so much, Melissa. I think this was a great conversation. Like I said, I've done bone broth for a while and I, I want to do, I'm going to try your product as well. And uh, it seems really handy and something you can just uh, quickly make as opposed to getting the bones, making them, putting them in the fridge or the freezer. It yeah. takes a bit of time. That's why a I labor made of love. <laughs> a labor of love. Exactly. It's fun, but like you got, you got some work to do. And so, it's hard to make it consistent when you make it at home. I'd learned that the hard way. <laughs> What do you mean? Like the, the, the taste to be consistent? The taste. Yes. Yeah. 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 I, I was drinking mine pretty like <laughs> gamey and yep. so I wasn't focusing on the taste so much, but that'd be a good addition to add on. Uh, cool. Yeah. Well, where can people find the product and get some of it? The beauty in the broth.com. Okay. The beauty in the broth.com. So check it out. This Melissa is bringing a new product to market. It's all about health and wellness and bone broth has a lot of substantiated benefits behind it. So you can take advantage of it to improve gut health, immunity, you know, feeling better. 
skin, nails, hair, as well as just feeling good in life in general. So check it out, give it a try. And uh, Melissa, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you so much, Faraz. It was great being here. 